this video, I automate a new honey farm design using Create Mod. I also build a brand new shop and factory to put it in, as well as a brand new passenger car for my train. Let's create. In the last video, we created some pretty cool stuff. I made this whole building, I made this nice lorry that goes and fetches the items from the farm and it brings it inside this building into this storage area here and stores all of the items that we're farming, which is fantastic. All of my automated machines are working well, my recipes are all working well and thanks to a bunch of you guys in the comments, I don't have to worry about these things making the wrong recipes now. By putting the mechanical arms onto forced round robin, they won't pick up if there's an item missing, which means they're not going to fill the mixing bowls at the end of these lines with stuff that they don't need and the other thing that i was told is if i put the recipe that i actually want on the basin it won't shove anything else in there so that's good and not much has changed in terms of the mechanics of this place but a whole bunch has changed downstairs you see i didn't get time in the last video to finish this off so as you can see in here i've just put some walls and bits and bobs in to tidy this up a little bit and through here we've now got a working kitchen this is where i can come and make everything i need i've got a whole bunch of bowls up there i've got a whole bunch of ingredients in all of these baskets and that means I could grab some bread I could grab a couple of eggs and if I had a crafting table I haven't got a crafting table oh geez hang on a minute under this convenient crafting table I can make myself some fried egg sandwiches not that I can eat them because my inventory's full but I can put them in our storage drawers for later and this kitchen's got everything I need from cooking pots to skillets and all of that sort of good stuff and I've also added in these flower boxes as little herb boxes and I really like that the other big part of this building that needed decoration was of course the shop front and I've done that now as well but I'm going to come at that from the outside to show you because I think it's quite good so as you're walking down the high street coming across this building you might notice the shop which has got some chicken and some shepherd's pie and some more herb boxes on the outside and we've even got these pedestals with 3d items on and it's called the deli mart and it's open if we go inside we've got these little glass cabinets as you'd expect to find in a food shop with the food on the inside again using pedestals to actually highlight the items and i've also used a whole bunch of stuff from the supplementaries mod to really decorate this place so we've got jars with cookies in we've got jars with mushroom soup in we've got even more herb boxes and we've even got these chalkboards which you can actually edit and write what you want on and i kind of thought that looked a little bit like you know a list of all the things that were available to buy and then we've obviously got the till in the middle here and that's really about it but i think it does look like a shop and i think it works the only thing it's missing is someone to actually run the shop so i think it's time that i threw a seat down here and turn one of these fake cows into a shopkeeper and there you go little monkey if you would like to just take that seat there you are now the resident shopkeeper at this shop please don't eat all the food save a little bit for the customers it'd be nice if you looked at me but that's fine so now we've got a shopkeeper and all of the decorations done there's just a couple of things that this thing is missing and those are more items and ingredients that we're not yet farming we're not farming any pumpkin and melons because we need sugar and if i want to make all of these fancy sweet berries i'm gonna need honey and chocolate as well so my plan today is quite ambitious and i might not get it all done but i'm gonna try but ideally i'd like to build at least two more buildings here ideally three one for pumpkin and melons one for sugarcane and one for honey and chocolate that's my plan i don't know if i'll achieve all that but i better get cracking and the way i'm gonna start cracking oh, that's a bit weird thing to say is by building my first next building and i think i'm gonna go for this one here if you're enjoying this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button it only takes a couple of seconds and it really helps me out from the front i don't think this looks too bad i quite like it it does look like a shop at the bottom and it looks like a little ski resort type building at the front but there is a big problem with this one and that is if you look at it from the side it just looks totally weird and way too short and that's not ideal so what i don't think i'm gonna do as this episode goes on is probably extend this out into this block here a little bit like what we've done with this one maybe it's the roof line that does it i don't know there's something that makes that look really weird from the side and i think it's just the roof to be honest with you 
but I'm not going to worry about that right now because right now we need to start doing stuff on the inside of here and we don't have a massive amount of room. Although we've got this downstairs bit and we do have this upstairs bit here, which does have substantially more room in it and a block stuck in the wall apparently. I don't know why, but from the front of this, I'm thinking like a sweet shop or some sort of candy type place. So maybe this could be the place where we do our sweet berry delights. But if that's the case, then upstairs in here is gonna need to be honey and chocolate. Oh, and look at all these different types of candies. And there's so many different types of chocolate. Chocolate is made from cocoa beans, sugar, and milk. And then you can make hot chocolate. You can make ruby chocolate. How do you make ruby? Whoa, you need dragon's breath. Cocoa butter crushed cocoa and then black chocolate that all oh jeez and looking at this there's even more types of confectionery really than i even thought we've got gingerbread men honey candy marshmallows on a stick candy canes we've even got caramel and candies and all sorts of things so i've made a little list i need a cocoa bean farm a sugar farm a honey farm and a milk farm and then i need to crush the cocoa beans mill the sugar and crush the nether rack and that should give us all the ingredients that we need to produce most of the candies and i'm pretty sure that if i combine this building with one on the back i can fit all of those things inside there no problem because don't forget peeps this is a single player world there's no reason to have any of these things in ridiculously vast quantities so all of the farms that i'm building can actually be pretty small as long as we're getting a few items take my meats for instance we've only got a few hundred of each type and that's been running for days and days and days but we've still got more food than i'll probably ever eat in this world and i'm probably not ever going to need the candies so it's just for show so i better rewrite all of my plans again and build a big old chocolate factory. Oh, jeez. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I've had an idea. We're going back to Hill Valley. And the reason we're coming back to Hill Valley is two of the ingredients that we desperately need. I'm farming over here. The first one being slime. And we got so much slime. But yeah, we can make slime here really easily. All I need to do is get the wheat back in here and get this machine turned back on again. And the other thing that we're farming over here is sugar cane. And if I look back inside my little storage building, we've got millions of it. Well, not millions, but plenty. So all I need to do is hook up our slime and our sugar cane to our train station and get our little train that's just aimlessly going back and forth between here and our snow area to just bring a little slime and sugar cane. Now getting the slime over there is going to be easy because it's literally right next door. However, the sugar cane is going to be slightly more complicated because it's got to come all the way from our storage system here. And currently all of the items come into the storage system through this storage controller there. But the good news is we already have a whole bunch of conveyors that are doing pretty much what we already need to do. This line here actually brings all the items from our farm to the storage system. Them. However, it lets wheat go down in this direction and that takes it over to our slime farm. So if we've already got a conveyor system going to the slime farm, that's the same conveyor system that's carrying the sugar cane from the farm already. All I got to do is let some sugar cane go down there as well and then deal with that at the slime farm. And then we've got both things over there. Okay, I've got a little conveyor system for sugar cane all set up now from this brass tunnel here, which diverts the wheat into that direction and the sugar cane down onto that conveyor system. And conveniently for me, this conveyor conveyor here which just happens to run onto that same belt as our sugarcane line that's pretty much right below our slime so if i grab myself a little chute click on that there now all our slime's gonna go down that chute and it'll be on the same conveyor as the sugarcane but now i need the train in order to figure out how i'm going to get it on the train and whereabouts on the train it's going to go Good morning. Okay, right. This is where the train parks at the station. Now, we could add another carriage to this, but to be honest with you, I really don't see the whole point. Oh, I think you'll want one, won't you? Because your viewers, you like things like that. But I'm just... Oh, I could just stick it in here. There's loads of room in there. Oh, you're going to make me build a carriage, aren't you? Well, I've fiddled and tweaked and fiddled again with this thing and I'm still not overly happy with it, but it'll do. It's a little train car. But this side, we've got some luggage storage. And on this side, we've got a couple of seats for a couple of passengers. I think I might have to move the station slightly as well in order to actually get this to pull up to the platform. Now, I could extend the platform out a little bit, I guess, just to make life a bit easier. I mean, we've got this space here. And with these few little bits here, there we go. Happy now? The station has been extended. People can 
safely get on here with ah they fell down between the train and being crushed not safe anyway right <laughs> item interface well that's actually quite good that that's there because what i can do now is just come in directly underneath the station and hide all of this in here could do with it being a block lower really but it's gonna have to be there which means it is gonna be a little bit visible a little bit but a, a, a bit yeah a bit don't worry guys I'll just use a frame floorboard, pull that over the top, and then no one would ever know. And there we go. I can tell. No, you can't. Can? No. Impossible, mate. No one can tell. Definitely tell. No, you can't tell. Got maggots in me bed. Ugh, gross. Should wash the sheets. Right. Anyway, the item interface is now connected. So that means all I've got to do is get items up into that item interface. And a vertical gearbox there. And yes, it's going the right way. It's slow, but it's going. So if I click on you, you should. There you go. Just go now. Amazing. Oh, yeah, wait for me. Wait for... Oh, jeez. I've missed the train again. My jetpack's faster than you, little train. There we go. I made it. I'm on the train. Lovely. I'm in the train. Okay, now that we are arriving in the snow area, I should probably get off this train. And we're going to need it to stop here and then deposit the items. And then we've got to get them from here down to there. I think we might need to do a little bit of underground tunnel in here. But realistically, there's no point in linking any of that up to here until we've actually built the building it's going to go in. So I guess now it's time to do some building again. And there we go. It's all done. And I don't think it looks too bad. I quite like these little bits we've got going on over the windows. And each of the fronts from the main streets has got nice big windows on it. So coming around the back, we now have a whole bunch of room inside and a whole bunch of rooms inside. This one. And then if we go through here, we've got another big one here. And we've got, obviously, the front that we had before there. But not only those, we've got a hole upstairs now as well. We've got a big room here, which leads through to a reasonable size room here, which leads through to a decent size room here. And that's not it, because there's even more stairs that go up to the third floor, where we've got another big room here, a decent size room here and a little bit of an attic space in here as well. I can't believe how much difference that makes just adding on the back of a building, jeez. And the last little bit is we've got a little bit of storage underneath these stairs here and a gap down the side that's, well, just a gap. So yeah, lots and lots of space, ready for building lots and lots of things. And the thing I want to start with is cocoa beans. Although before we start farming cocoa beans, we should probably get the items coming in from the train down to underneath this thing and store them somewhere. Now, ideally, I'd like them all stored in the actual storage building so that then we can move them to where we need them. And I've thought about getting the van to maybe drive down this little lane here and then come up the high street park somewhere near the station and then bring the items back down again and that's ideally what i'd like to do but i don't want to do that until i've built the rest of these buildings because well i keep changing the level of the landscape as i'm building each of these and i don't know where it's going to finally be but before i do that i've been thinking about these rails you see i haven't done these right this rail should really go around the outside and then have a gap here to allow passengers to walk across that's better now we can actually get in the train without worrying about falling down there so now now all I've got to do is get the items from this chute all the way down there. And here we go with some very quick and dirty blocks thrown together. We've now got a very temporary little train that goes all the way from our station down this line and drops the items off here, which go into our draw controller, which goes into our storage system. And down at the other end here, we've just got a storage interface coming off a load of chutes. So that's coming off a vault, which is coming off a load of chutes, which is going into this storage interface. The question is, though, are we going to start dropping? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Are we going to start dropping off items when it gets here? Is It's connected. They're going down the chute. This is good news. They're in this chute here. That's good news. Our little train is back. Are you filling with items? You are. But are you going to deposit them at the other end? Here he is. Are the items going to go in there? No, because my storage interface is too close to that one. Oh, jeez. Okay, we can fix that. That's not a problem. I don't really want to put a hole in the floor, though. I don't know where this is going to come. Oh, it's behind the storage. That's even better. If I put the storage interface there instead, we can literally just come straight out the back of this and straight into here. I don't need any of this mess. And here comes the slime. Here it is. It's going into the system. This is wonderful. Right, we need a bit of slime, and we need a bit of that to actually give it a slot in here. Slime down there, and we'll have sugar cane 
chain over here. So now we've got those items going in there, we then need to move them into there to process them, but we'll worry about that later. Right now, I'm going to go to the gondola station and check on my wood supplies because we're going to need jungle wood and cocoa beans. And look, we've got six cocoa beans in there and a whole bunch of jungle logs. Let's take a bunch of that and let's go make a cocoa bean farm. Good news, I've just come into my task world to see if harvesters can harvest cocoa beans and they absolutely can. So that means down here in this little room, we can just have a whole bunch of jungle logs against this wall like this with a whole bunch of cocoa beans on not that i've got enough to plant the whole lot then we just need a bit of powered rail running along the side of it with a fancy little contraption like that next to it and then it just needs another block at the end there that bit of rail to be powered and off we go we're now harvesting cocoa beans now this is going to be a relatively slow contraption that isn't realistically going to generate us very much but don't forget we probably don't need all that much that said i have a ridiculous amount of bone meal so it'd be pretty easy to set up another little one that uses bone meal and just produces a little bit more when we need it before i do that though i've moved this over to the other side of the room and i'm actually going to spin around this storage interface so it's facing through there and now we can send the items through that wall and deal with them all on this side of the room which i think is going to be better and for our speedier one all i've done is set up another contraption with a single harvester on it that's just bouncing back and forth between here we've got a couple of observers making a clock into this dispenser a barrel with a hopper going into there and if i throw that bone meal in that should, there we go, just grow that. That was easy. Okay, to get items out of this thing, I'm going to come across this item drain here. We're going to go along this conveyor and we're going to go through that wall into a draw controller slave there. And out of this one, we're going to come out of that andesite funnel across those and into that one there. And then if we have a bit of trim coming off there, we can put some drawers in at this point. There they are. They're going across those drains nicely into there. Oh, geez. Oh, we've, oh, I, need to, oh I need to turn this off. We've got, we've got cocoa beans everywhere. Oh, no. I really need to sort power out. So in order to sort power out, we're probably going to need a basement. And I think we should link it up with this basement here. Which means it's time to get out the portable drill and do some digging. There we go, that should be plenty of space to get us working under here. And I think with a little bit of chain drive on there, it shouldn't be too difficult to get that wired up. There we go. Look at all of them cocoa beans going through now. This is good news. Oh, it's done. So now we've got nearly 2,000 cocoa beans, and we've only just started. So looking back at our handy checklist, cocoa beans is done. Next on the list is sugar. Let's get some sugar. So all i got to do is get that out of there by probably taking it down through the basement and then just connecting these storage drawers to those ones. Is it all going to connect? If I hover over this storage controller, does it have... Yes, it does. It has access to everything. That's good news. And there we go. We've got storage drawers to this point. And then we need to go up even further into the ceiling. So if I stick a little one of those on there, we should now have items. There we go. All the way up into the loft of our house. So to get sugar, we can either just craft sugar cane into sugar and we'll get one. Or we can crush it and we'll get two and a 10% chance to get a third. However, if we mill it, we also get two and a 10% chance to get a third. And Milling machines are much cheaper than crushing machines. Well, the other thing we're going to need up here is power. And with a few gearboxes and a little bit of trim, we've now got power going around the outside. And what we've got on here is a brass funnel, which is going to let sugar cane out. That's going to go into our little milling machine. That's going to turn it into sugar and that's going to send it back out again. We're now producing sugar. However, I do need a redstone link and I need to put that on there and I need to put it in receive mode and I need to put sugar cane and sugar on there. And that's going to stop any sugar cane coming through. If the amount of sugar cane in here drops too low, where's that sugar going? That's the question. Have I already got a drawer in here for sugar? No, I don't. So where is it going? It's not in any of these. And it's not in any of these. But it's going somewhere. <laughs> Let's uh, throw that in there for now and see if the rest know. The rest don't come. Oh, geez. Where's my sugar going? These are definitely all trim. Make sure these are definitely all trim. Oh, no. It's all coming through in here now. No, it says there's 411 sugar in the system. But there's only only 160 of them in there. Before I go find that sugar, there's another good bunch of comments I got about this crafting system. It turns out I don't need this redstone signal thing on the back at all because you can actually craft a crafter slot cover. And if you do that and put it over a spare one, 
then it just won't use that, but it will still make all of the ingredients if you need it. So if we actually put the cherry wood in both of those, then they'll all go in. The other thing is you can connect them all at the back and have the same input going into the same place. So we don't actually need all of these lines coming out here at all. And moving the belts around a little bit, what I can now do is just send all of the cherry along these conveyors here and they should apparently all go into the right places on here. They do. I wish I'd known that before because I don't think I'm ever going to need to craft another bowl again. But fiddling with all that really isn't helping me find my sugar. So I've got a plan to find it. So the other thing I can do is just get one of these funnels, give it a filter for sugar and then just catch all of the sugar that's in the system, take it all out and make sure that all of the sugar then goes into that right drawer. And there we go. All of the sugar should be in there now. So that number on there should match what it shows on there, which it does. Excellent. So that sugar ticked off the list, which means it's time for honey. That means I need bees. Now, at some point in this Let's Play, I did grab a beehive and I'm pretty sure the beehive had bees in it, but I'm pretty sure that beehive is probably in the same place as my lost sugar. Oh, it's there. Okay, good. Let's make a bee farm. An arm made of beef. Yep, an arm made of beef. Back in my creative world, I've come up with a couple of honey farm designs and I quite like them, although this one doesn't work. This one is very expensive. It has a lot of brass tunnels. It has a lot of smart shoots. It has a lot of deployers, but it does the job. The deployers have glass bottles in which take the honey out of the beehives. They get passed through onto a conveyor. They get drained through this fluid interface here, and then the glass bottles get recycled and put back into the system, and it all works very nicely. This one, however, is very cheap. It's just a minecart contraption, which means it doesn't require any power at all. It's got a barrel in the middle, which contains glass bottles and honey bottles, and this end bit is pretty much the same. The honey bottles come out here, and the glass bottles go back in again. But this doesn't work. I don't know why. I don't know if it's this item drain or what, but if I take the filter off there, it will pass through the glass bottles all day long, but it never ever passes through the honey bottle. I've tried putting the honey bottles on the filter, I've tried changing the filter amount, but the honey bottles will not come out. Oh, but then one came through, and another one. So I guess it needs to have more than 16 honey bottles in it before it'll let it go through. If I put that to exactly one, ah, there we go. Now it's working. So yeah, much, much cheaper design. Hardly uses any power at all. Lots easier to build, but I'm going to build this one because I like it. I don't care about how much power it uses and saving on power because I've got pretty much infinite power from my power station. I also don't care about the cost of the resources because realistically, I've got everything I could possibly need and more in copious amounts. The question is though, am I going to be able to squeeze all of that into to this tiny little room here. Probably not. Oh, it just fit there. We wouldn't have a great deal of room to get around, but it would fit. And here we go. It's only four beehives wide and we've only got one bee nest because I can't make more beehives because I don't have any honey. And everything fits nicely into this space down the back here. Hiding away under all of this nonsense, there is a tiny little tank here with some honey going in it. And this isn't going to be much use to us squeezed down here in this corner, but I can access that from downstairs and drag all of the honey down there. There we go. Come here, bees. Get fed. There we go. And with this pipe going in there like that, we now have honey coming down into our container here, although it's, it's kind of big and it's kind of in the way. Now, there is another problem here. Of course, we're taking honey bottles out of this machine, and in order to build more beehives, I need honeycomb. And this isn't going to give us honeycomb. I guess I could give these shears. Alternatively, I could just go looking for beehives. How hard could that be? It's an awful joke. You're an awful joke. And I've already spotted one. Hey, bees. I still touch that. Yeah, they didn't get angry. That's good. You haven't seen any bees anywhere, have you, chicken? Excuse me, horse. I haven't seen any beehives kicking around here. Here, have you? Now I know I can make beehives appear by planting trees near flowers and doing all of that sort of thing, but realistically it shouldn't take me too long to just wander through the, these woods and find another couple of hives. I mean, I only need two more hives. There's a little pillager camp here with a villager trapped. Oh no! Have you got any beehives? No, you've got a name tag though. Hey! Rude. Is that what you do with all your visitors? Is it just shoot them? Not coming here again. Worst Airbnb ever made. A dog. I've not found a dog in this game yet. I don't think I've got any bones. But I don't need bones because I can just steal it. We got a dog. You can be a farm dog. Okay, dog. Let me get you some bones. Now you can be my best friend. There we go. We knew I have a new friend. And this new friend will need a net. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> just do me flies up. Uh, yes, this new wolf will need a name. It will need a name. And it's, of course, going to be living at the farm. It's a farm dog. So come up with a good name for a farm dog, I guess. Another dog. I don't need it. I've got one. You can breed them and have puppies. Oh, what a, I'm so busy. Fine. Jeez. 
There we go. And this farm dog is going to look after my stable. He's going to look after the horses, aren't you, little farm dog? Good. Right. I don't know if my uh, farmer villagers just happen to sell bees, do you? Do you sell beehives? No, we sell food, you moron. Tell me how you really feel, mate. Ooh, there's a vindicator down here for no particular reason. There's a dead vindicator. Oh, don't see many of those around. Bears like honey. I bet you know where all the honey is, don't you? Ow. Oh, what? Fine jeans. Oh, and look, a beehive nest. Right, it's getting night time, which is actually quite good because if I find bees at night, they'll all be asleep in the hives. The problem is, it's night. I can't see much. Not quite the advantage I was hoping for. Still the rear B&B. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, you guys are mean as well. One star review, mate. I found bees. And where there's bees, there's hives. Yes, and they've both just gone to bed. Thank you very much. I have spotted bees. Three bees. Four bees. Five bees. Oh, we got all the bees. One. Thank you. Two. Three. We've got to do it before it's morning. Getting very nearly morning. Oh, the bees are coming out. There was another one. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's another one after that as well. Oh, we got all the bees. I found all the bees, peeps. And there we go. Many, many bees. Perfect. Okay, then. Right, with all of these bee nests, we should be able to get this thing nice and full of bees. One, two, three. There we go. And now we'll be collecting all the honey. I think these copycat panels are confusing them a little bit. The honey farm's now been running for a little while. I've tidied it up a bit so it looks a bit better. And we've got a reasonable amount of honey in here, which means we can look at our list and find out what's next. And it says milk farm. And I have no idea why I wrote that down. Because, of course, over in our other building, up these stairs and up these ladders, we've already got a milk farm. But maybe we could do with a little bit more milk. And now we've got three decent sized tanks. One for honey, one for milk, and one for chocolate. Now I need to put a mechanism into this space here, and there really isn't all that much room, but I'm going to do my best. There, and there we go. That's all connected now. All you got to do now is get milk into there. I also need to switch that out for a brass funnel. Get that on there like that. It's a little bit janky. Is it going to work? It is. We're getting milk in there. And now we're getting milk in there. Not that we can see it because it's hidden out of the way. Oh, except the milk bucket's not actually going through into the, the item vault. Why are you not picking it up? Okay, well, I've now got that working. It takes up a whole bunch more room now, and it really is starting to feel a lot like it's in the way in here, which is not ideal. And with these couple more funnels on there, we've now moved that entire process upstairs. That's better. It should. Hopefully, if I've done... Oh, no, I've done it a block off. There we go. That's better. We've now got a milk processing machine that's sending all that milk down there through these pipes here, and hopefully it's making it all the way into our milk vat it is. Good. Clipboard. Milk farm done. We do need to crush the cocoa beans to make cocoa we also need to mill the sugar for some reason and we need netherrack and we need to crush netherrack and that's all of the process is done before we can start actually producing the candies why did i want to crush sugar i wanted to crush sugar cane didn't want to crush sugar at all that would be stupid so that's that one actually done then so crush cocoa beans and then we'll deal with the netherrack but unfortunately we're gonna have to figure it out in the next video because again i've run out of time these things take forever i'm not even halfway through this one yet we've not even started started production but it's been an awesome journey and i'm learning a whole bunch about all of these create mods so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye